Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. We got a damn good show. Now, I'm sure y'all been noticing all over the news, sh- social media, how people are going into stores and it's just theft, theft is rapid, widespread, no, all man. around the country. I'm kind of um, kind of sugarcoating it. You tell, just tell the truth, I'm man. I'm not downplaying nothing. What you talking about? No, man. You I'm sugarcoated sugar. it, man. I'm a sugarcoat. You coating. smoothed it over. You you undermine what's going on. Well, well, how am I supposed to say it? You're trying to make things seem like they're not as serious as they are. I'm not minimizing nothing. What are you talking you about? You minimize and you downplaying. <laughs> Niggas is robbing people. <laughs> That's what's going on. Like the department stores and like Walmarts. And yeah. I mean. Uh, Walmart left Chicago. CVS. You got Walgreens. I mean, they're just getting. Uh, Walmart left Chicago. Yeah, these. Um, That's a food. Family-owned uh, businesses. They've just been. It's because a, it's because of Democrat policies, they they like uh, lax on crime. Oh, they're minorities. Just let them, just let them be. Yeah, right? and I know I probably offended some black people because y'all liberal, but you know what? I don't give a shit. But uh, I got this video <laughs> of this one black dude. Yeah, just just brazenly just taking stuff and fitting to walk out. And the store owners, yeah, they're not white people. These are I look like Indians or something. Yeah, Pakistanis or something. Oh, you don't want to rob from them. Uh, they, it's them brown skinned people. They got my skin, but they got that good hair. Yeah, these Indian people, they ain't number colored white people. <laughs> they got that good hair. They act just like white people, just a different accent. Yeah. Those are really white people. Indians, the red dots, them ain't number colored white people. Yeah. Check out this video. Look at it. Do you have insurance? What? Does he have insurance? No, this is it, it hurts me. Yes. God damn. Ain't nothing you can do that. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Tell you call police. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Tell police come on. Hey, hey, no, you, hey, don't. Hey. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Hey, he can't show you the rest. Just take my word for it. That nigga got lynched. <laughs> <laughs> they beat his ass. Well, I'm telling you, man, these these Indians, man, these are white supremacists. Man. I mean, if they were cops, it would be cop. It'd be police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, he had it coming. Not only are you stealing, you pretty much vandalizing that store. Everything yeah. just you you're messing with people's livelihood, man. I don't. I'm not sure how much they paying per carton or if it's on um. Uh, some kind of lease. I don't know how, but that's a lot of money. Those cigarettes? Yeah. They're like $6 a pack. I don't think there's actually any insurance for something like that. For theft like that? I don't think so. I think so. I mean, if But if you do and you file a claim, your insurance claim is going to go up. they will drop So you. it's better off that you just deal with it right yeah. then and there. With a stick. Or you just look the other way like... um. No, you deal with it with a stick. Man, they, this dude got a... This dude got like a broomstick. It's just a stick. Hey, it's d- a different culture. They call they walk around with sticks. Yeah, was that a turban he was wearing? Who the black guy? No, the dude with the stick. I didn't catch no let's, turban. Let's action. see. Let's see if I saw some turban action. No, that's just that good hair you got going. That's a good hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at with that stick, man. He, he got good form. Pull that up. Look at that form. He's got his head tucked. Yeah, got his got his elbows. Got the elbows, elbows at a forty five degree. <laughs> He's going to bring the lats in. He's going to bring that stick down. <laughs> that is damn good form. That's right some there. damn good form right there. I'm not sure what city it was in. I'm sure it was either San Francisco, Chicago, New York, or some other inner city. Yeah, my money's on Chicago. Somewhere in California. I mean, like in California and all these places, mm-hmm. like it's not it's not a felony until they still over. A thousand bucks. Something like that. I think it's more than that now. Really? Yeah. Jeez. That's what happened when you're um, yeah, when, soft yeah. on crime. Yeah. Yeah, you have to hit a threshold before you can do anything. Yeah, and it's when you're soft on crime, it's just these criminals, they become really brazen. <laughs> this dude, like, I used to no, catch No, not up. criminals. Niggas get brazen. They, I mean, these people get brazen. Like, he's got something over his head, over his face. Yeah. Like, damn, COVID's back. And as soon as you walk in, it's like, man, this dude's coming in and rob me. Yeah. yeah. And then they just dumping it. They... You, that dude, see that trash can? He probably ro- came in with the. That was a shopping cart one. That was a trash can. Won't you pay a attention? trash can? Let's go to the video. Look at it. It's a trash can. Like a damn janitor. A- 
a crash can. That's a crazy as hell. That's a crash can. Did you have a sauce? You walk no, in with us. It, it hurts you. That's one of them trash cans down in front of your house. <laughs> the trash man come pick up. God damn. I know turn, you can do turn, that. Turn that dude off. So it's like either he came in walking in with that, or he went in and grabbed one of that trash cans. I'm going to use your trash can to steal stuff from you. That's crazy. Yeah. Brazen. That, but that's what happened when you're soft on crime. Yeah. I mean, I mean what? Shut up. You try to show compassion to these criminals because, oh, oh, man, they just, they just hungry. He just need these cigarettes to, you know, start his own business and sell them so he can buy something for his family, put food on the table, pay the rent. He go over to... He go open up no store. He go open up a little lemonade stand. He go put a side up for uh, uh, cigarettes for less. <laughs> he still gonna have that blue mask on. Yeah, and it's not going through anything productive. He's gonna go put it in his arm. Oh, you think he's a crackhead? Gotta be. He he's on something. He's not. He doesn't have a rational, logical mind. Yeah. When I steal something, I'm like, "Oh, how you doing, sir? Where's the cigarettes at?" You know, you try to cover it up. He came in there looking crazy like, yeah, nigga Tyrone here. I'm going <laughs> to take me some stuff. Yeah, when I used to shoplift, man, it was for food. Well, we was kids, man. It was, it it was, was hungry. I was hungry as hell. Wasn't no damn food in that house. <laughs> Mama walk around. It ain't nothing but water in the sink. That's it. Water out of the faucet. That was Wait, it. No, I was like man. looking at Mama. I said, Mama, I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> well, we had some stuff in there. Had like a jar of mayonnaise in there. Had some uh, had some pickle relish in there and some mustard and ketchup. <laughs> the economy size. Had oh some, yeah, that's right. We had some powdered milk. Yeah, we had some buttermilk in there. <laughs> you go to the fridge. I remember, I mean, we grew up all right. So we go to the fridge. I open it up. Ain't nothing to eat. Thirty minutes go by. I go right back to the fridge. <laughs> Man, it still ain't nothing in here. <laughs> You do some stupid kids, stuff. It's man. You poor, man. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's why we used to shoplift, man. I used to go buy like a couple pounds of hamburger meat. Keith would get the sauce and I would get the pasta. I come home. We have the. We, I, I, mean, I cooking, even stole the garlic so I can chop it up in there, right? <laughs> I mean, we're in the kitchen cooking, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got the bread right in. Yeah. The bread's all crushed. <laughs> Comes is all flat and shit. And then we're in there cooking. Mama said, mm, something good smell good in here. <laughs> I said, yeah, mama, me and Keith cooking spaghetti. <laughs> Man, hurry up. I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> All right, mama, she's going to be done in about 15 minutes. <laughs> that was a damn good show. Damn good show. Man. Hey, man, we got a new giveaway going. Give away uh, um, a Ram 2500 diesel truck. I think I'm, I'm going to go home and comb my hair. I ain't combing it like two months. <laughs> and, and ten thousand dollars in cold hard cash to enter the win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't forget that truck has got the Cummins in there. Yeah, it's got that cum in it. Yeah, girls like a truck with a lot of Cummins in there. The end of the win. Go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. End of the win. Yeah.